for our lesson today, I brought us a giant ruler. Now a ruler helps us measure things, particularly today, our height. And it has feet and inches on it. The inches are the little marks, while the feet are these big marks. And it goes all the way up to six feet tall. And we're going to see how tall these animals and people are in comparison to one of our Bible characters today. So, first, which animal out of all of these do you think is the smallest animal in height? If you guess the turtle, you're right. The turtle is only about four inches tall. Which animal do you think is the next tallest? It's an animal that's really furry and fuzzy. It's the koala bear. A koala bear is about two feet tall. So we're going to put him right next to the two feet mark, right here. Okay, which animal do you think is the next tallest? When a lion is on all fours, he is three and a half feet tall. So we're going to put it right in between the three and the four for three and a half feet tall. Now, the next animal is a little bit like a horse, but it has a lot of stripes on it. It's the zebra. A zebra is over four feet tall. So we're going to put him right here. He's almost as tall as I am. And the next is a hippo. Hippos might be really fat, but they're just over five feet tall. So we're going to put him right here next to the five. Okay. And then how tall am I? Oh, I'm about five feet and a couple of inches. So we'll put me right here next to the hippo. And I'm a little bit short compared to most people. Some people are six feet tall or maybe even more. You can measure yourself or your mom or your dad at home if you have a ruler or tape measure and you can see how tall you are. But our Bible character today, he was nine feet and nine inches tall. Our ruler only goes to six feet. So he was taller than this room that we're in. Goliath wouldn't have fit in our Bible classroom. He was so tall. And we're going to find out when Goliath went against God's army of the Israelites. And we're going to find out what happens. Would you be scared if you had to fight someone that was nine feet tall? You would have to look up to him like this. Let's get right into the Bible story and find out what happens. In our Bible story today, there was a big battle going on between the Philistines and the Israelites. Now remember, the Israelites were God's people. And each of these two armies were standing on their own mountain, and there was a valley in between them. Now, the Philistines had on their side a champion, a man whose name was Goliath. And he was huge. The Bible tells us that he was six cubits and a span, which to us is nine feet and nine inches, which was so tall as we found out earlier from our ruler. Now look how big this man is compared to everyone else. And he came out every day wearing his bronze helmet and his heavy coat of armor and his spear and he had shields on his legs, and he had someone to carry a shield in front of him. He had all this armor on, and he would come out every day and say to the Israelites, he would say, who's going to come fight me? If you win, then my people will serve you. But if I win, then you have to serve us. And everyone, they didn't want to fight him because they just knew they were going to lose, and they were very scared of him. There was this young boy named David, and he had seven other brothers and sisters. And the three oldest brothers were fighting with the Israelites. And David's dad sent him to see his brothers to give them some food, like some loaves of bread and some cheese and some grain. So David was a shepherd boy, and he left his sheep that he was taking care of to take his brothers this food. And he got there just in time to hear Goliath come down for the day 
and say the same thing he said every day. Who's going to fight me? And David thought to himself, and he told the people around him, I can fight him. I want to fight him. And so David went before King Saul. King Saul said to him, you can't fight Goliath. You're just a little boy. But David wanted to fight Goliath. David knew that he had God on his side. So Saul agreed that he could go fight. But first, he gave him heavy armor. And he gave him a sword. And he gave him a shield. And he gave him all of this heavy stuff. But it was really big for David. So David said, I can't use this. I don't need it. And he gave it back to Saul. And instead of using those weapons, he used things from a creek. He used stones. David went down to the creek and he picked up five smooth stones and he put them in his pocket. And then David went down to fight Goliath. He walked toward him and Goliath walked toward him. Now look how different the size is. Goliath is so much bigger than David. But do you know what happened? So David stood before Goliath and he said, Goliath, you come before me with a sword and a spear and a javelin, but I come before you in the name of the Lord of hosts. And David took one small stone from his pocket. He used his sling and he hit Goliath right in the forehead. And Goliath came falling down. David had won. He had beat the champion of the Philistines, but he had won with the help of God. So all the Philistines ran away and the Israelites chased them. They had won because they had God on their side. Imagine the things that we can do with God on our side. We'll win lots of battles. They might not be battles like this where we're fighting with swords and with stones and knocking giants down, but there'll be lots of times in our life where we need God on our side. And God will help if we trust in him and if we believe in his power. Now, let's do a little craft to help us remember our Bible story today and what David used to defeat Goliath. Okay, our craft today is really simple and really easy. We're going to have to draw a couple of things, but they're just little sketches. So you're going to need a crayon box and a sheet of paper, like always. Okay, so the first thing we're going to draw is some of the weapons that they used in the battle. So I'm going to take, I guess, a blue crayon. You can use any color you want. And we're going to draw a shield. Now, a shield is like a giant U. Whoop, that makes a U. And then we're going to curve in halfway and then in the other way. Let's make the point at the top of the shield. And you could draw a line down the middle and a line across to make it more shield-like. So Goliath used a shield, and he also used a sword. I'm going to draw a brown sword. I'm going to start at the bottom of the sword and draw the handle down here, and then kind of a rectangle across, and then I'm going to go out and out, making two lines, and then I'm going to come in right here and in right here to make the point of the sword. I have my shield and I have my sword on here. But that's not what David used. David used a stone. He said, I don't need those big weapons because I have God on my side. All I need is a little stone. So we're going to turn this into a stone. And you do that by just crumbling it into a ball. David didn't need a shield or a sword. He just needed one stone. But really, he just needed God on his side. God is the one that helped the Israelites and that helped David win over Goliath. Goliath should have won. He was bigger, he was stronger, he had more weapons, but instead, little boy David won with just a little stone. That just proves how big God is. Goliath was big, but our God is bigger. And you can remember that by remembering you don't need big things to help you win. You just need God on your side. Thanks for watching today, kids. Bye.